Welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. I'm Nye, and the, uh, uh, Sheep Nader is about to level up. Yep, worth an episode, right here. Sheep Nader becomes the Ultra Sheep Nader, which creates the Black Sheep. The uh, cool thing about this is not only does it have a much longer, uh, range, but the Black Sheep will, uh, act as decoys. And uh, if they get close enough to an enemy to touch them, then they will explode. So yeah, it actually comes worth it. It's not just, you know... It's not just a weapon for the sake of having a weapon. It actually does something. Yep. When we get next to something cool, I'll see you guys. Okay, guys, got some more stuff to show off. Uh, we are now in the arena. And uh, one thing to note is the prize. Uh, the prize of the support has actually gone up. We also have a new uh, challenge here, Time Point of the Challenge, Dodge Chain Point of Two Minutes. Let's try that Returning out. To battle is everyone's favorite gladiator. He slices so check this out. and carves up a main he's got, he's not gonna have a, uh, chain blade. He has no, uh, no health for me to worry about. I just have to dodge his attacks for two minutes. If one hits me. I'm just gonna attack him for the sake of it. Not a dozen things. I can go left too. Before I do that, uh, because the uh, bolt multiplier actually does affect this stuff, um, let me see if I can get that multiplier. See you in a minute. Welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank on Commando. I'm Nye, and we are finally going to get our spider bomb. Trying to maintain this 14 times bolt multiplier here. There's our spider bot upgrade. Kind of cool upgrade. Now our spider bot isn't quite so, uh. Uh. What's the word I'm looking for? Vulnerable. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. That said, you know, it's, uh. It's not as amazing. Anyways, that's that. Moving on. Can you feel it? Can, can, it, can you feel the joy? Can you see the amount of money I have? We're, we're about to get something nice. We're about to get the Rhino 2. It has a lot more ammo than the Rhino 1 did. And there's a reason for that. It shoots a lot more missiles than the Rhino 1 did. 
just kind of locks on to everything and fires at everything and does ridiculous amounts of damage. Yeah, the uh, the Rhino 2 is basically what the Rhino should be. Which is a gigantic screw you to everything. It'll also lock on to things that don't normally have lock on. Like those uh things just now that I shot at. And those. Oh damn, I'm back. Yeah, it's uh it's good stuff. Notice that now I'm now up to, you know, the 18 times multiplier again. Uh the uh Rhino 2 also makes getting the multiplier stuff really ridiculous easy. Hi guys, how's it going? It's really hard to get killed while you're carrying the Rhino 2 with ammo. Everything tends to sort of fall over. Rhino 2. And Nano Dark. There we go. Well. The other special thing about the Rhino is that you actually can pick up ammo for it. Uh, the game actually does give you ammo as opposed to uh, making you just wait to buy it all. Uh, it kind of makes it very clear how much it values the Rhino 2 in terms of uh, damage potential in terms of how powerful the weapon is. So yeah, that's Rhino 2. When we see each other next time, I'll either be buying another weapon of some sort, or uh, possibly getting uh, armor, maybe the Zodiac, Flank Zapper, something like that. See you guys in a bit. Okay, so we've made our way to a Slim Cognitos. We're just going to get the remainder of the mods. So, lock on for Multistar, shock mod for the HK22, lock on, lock on, lock on, shock mod, acid mod for the mini nuke, lock on mod for the mini nuke, and a lock on mod for the Rhino 2. Now that's a. Uh, all the platinum bolts, guys. I don't know if I've ever used the lock-on mods. Uh, they uh, allow you to see health bars for uh, enemies when you attack. Let me see if I can use one. It's basically using the Rhino 2. Just sort of by itself in any given case. Kind of no point using anything else at this point. Yeah. So you can kind of see that little health bar that shows up when I lock on. Yeah, as you can see, once you get uh, certain things, it's not actually hard to keep your uh, combo up in order to make as much money as possible. Okay, you know what? Do it like that. Getting close to maximum nanotech here. Not making money. Yeah. Decent amount of money if you uh, make it get that mo combo up like that. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next uh, instance of cool stuff happening. Speaking of next things, I said I was gonna say this earlier. Um, now that I have the mapper, it will literally show me where every single thing is, every single crystal on uh, the desert, and that green dot right there is exactly where you'll find the uh, platinum bolt. Cool stuff. See ya. Okay, guys. So, uh, on challenge mode, each individual crystal in the desert is worth, uh, 10,000 bolts? I believe, I believe it's 10,000. So, I just got 900,000 bolts because I just completed the desert, which means we can now afford the Zodiac. As you may see, uh, this thing only gets four shots. There's a reason it only gets four shots. Trophies, 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 trophies. This is what it does. Everything on screen goes away. Everything. That's why it only gets four shots, because it only needs four shots. Oh, darn it, actually hit me before I got the shot off. But yeah, that's the Zodiac. The Zodiac destroys everything, and the, uh, 
Rhino cleans up the mess. So we're not quite done yet with uh, playthrough 2 content. Um, we still have the Carbonax armor, uh, the Clank Zapper, um, fully upgraded ship, stuff like that. And we will start working on that soon. I'll see you guys next episode.